In this tutorial, we will explore combined heat and power, or cogeneration, in BioWin. In BioWin, combined heat and power, or CHP for short, is associated with the anaerobic digester element. CHP generates electricity that can be used on site and or sold back to the utility grid, and heat that can either be recovered to offset heating requirements for the boiler or sold. Digester heating options are found within the power slash heat tab of an anaerobic digester's property dialog box. Selecting the combined heat and power unit checkbox activates the CHP options group. To specify what percentage of the CHP engine goes to generating power or the efficiency of generating power, a percentage can be entered in the percent CHP engine to power text box. You can also specify the percentage of useful heat generated. BioWin calculates the remaining percent CHP engine exhaust or waste by default. We can also specify whether or not to use the heat generated by the CHP engine to assist the boiler by checking the UCHP heat for a boiler checkbox. We can enter the efficiency of using this heat for the boiler. The fate of the energy produced by the CHP unit is specified in Project, Cost slash Energy, Combined Heat and Power. In the CHP Power Use Radio button group, you can choose to use the CHP Power on site and sell any excess power back to the utility grid, or you can choose to sell all of the CHP power generated back to the utility grid. Both the methane and hydrogen heat of combustion are used to determine how much energy is produced from the biogas generated in the anaerobic digester and potentially available for CHP conversion. Remember, the division of this potential energy as either energy, heat, or waste is specified locally in the anaerobic digester element. The CHP engine heat price is the price at which heat generated from the CHP unit is sold only if the user does not specify to use the CHP heat for the boilers in the anaerobic digester unit. The CHP engine power price is the price at which CHP power is sold back to the utility grid. Specifying CHP in the anaerobic digester will modify the look of various plots and series depending on the division and fate of the heat and energy generated. For example, you may notice both power and cost savings. The power generated from CHP will appear in the power demand distribution bar chart. The power produced appears as a negative value since it is representative of power generated, while the other categories illustrate power that is consumed. For a time series plot of power demand, when CHP is turned on and the power generated is used on site, this will be reflected with the net instantaneous power. We will see the net power lower than the total power since the power savings is accounted for. When CHP is on and it is specified to sell all CHP engine power generated, a new cost category called CHP power sales will be added to the cost distribution bar chart. For more information on the various tables and charts available for describing CHP and BioWin, please see the new Power and Operating Cost chapter in the BioWin Manual. This concludes our tutorial on combined heat and power or cogeneration in BioWin 5. More information on the new features in BioWin 5 can be found on our website as well as in the new Help Manual. In addition, please check out our video library for additional videos on how to use BioWin.